So every time someone tells you that a vegan diet is unnatural for you and just show them these few pages of a book called of the book called Nutrition Requirements of Non Human Primates, set and revised edition two thousand three. So what you can see here, this is a guest from just under trap of a Tarje. And a Tarje is like um this is what a Tarje looks like and it's like the kind of more than you um looking primate as you can see aesthetics wise it doesn't have much in common with us it looks like we and small with a lot of fur with gigantic eyes you know it's like comparing a tapia to a horse so you get what i'm saying so this is the guest intestine trap of a tragedy and tragedies eat a lot of insects them of the kind of the fornivorous eaten primates so they eat a lot of insects and not much fruit not much veggies they have a pretty carnivorous diet. So this is what the intestines of Atarji look like. They're pretty pretty small, everything like large stomach, not much of actual intestinal tracts. Like only it's a three looped small intestine and a pretty large large intestine. Then we got like um this is the gastrointestinal tract of a McCake and a McCake is more like a Omnivorous living primate it of the omnivorous living primate. You can see here a bigger intest small intestinal tract than the tarje, which isn't hard at all, I, I think, and a more developed and more uh, and a bigger large intestine, but still a pretty large stomach. If you want to, and here's what a macaque eats, so keep that in mind when we carry on later. So a macaque is an opportunistic omnivore and he eats a variety of animals and plants, although frequency make up of his or make up sixty to ninety percent of his diet and he also eats leaves, flowers, shoes and bark. So he eats sixty to ninety percent of plants, so that's a lot. And in comparison to the human intestinal tract, which you can see here, still looks pretty different than from what ours look what you can see is that we have a way smaller stomach and way larger intestinal tract and the reason for that is that the larger your intestine is the harder it is for you to digest flesh in general or animal products in general because flesh takes a lot to digest even for carnivores and that's why carnivores and cats and dogs have such a small gastrointestinal tract. As you can see here, this in comparison is the gastrointestinal tract of a cat, which is way smaller than the ones of a human in comparison. And here's another image. I think you can see it here a little bit better. So only nine times loop, small intestine, really small, large intestine. You know, it looks completely different than from ours, and it is way smaller. So if they are, or if their stomachs and intestines are made for digested meat, ours definitely are not, because ours don't love anything like that. Just like we have a small intestine and large intestine and stomach too. Well, I don't know about, like, humans should eat flesh, because if even the primates that eat flesh have a totally different stomach, large intestine, gastrointestinal tract than we have, how could you think that we were intended to eat flesh? I seriously don't get it. Another thing that we need to consider are the tooth of the different primates. So if you look at the tooth of a tarje, or at the, yeah, the tooth, you, uh, at the teeth, I'm sorry, at the teeth of a target. What you can see is that the teeth are pretty sharp, not really big, and they don't look like they were made to chew something, but rather to crack something up like a bug or to crack up an exoskeleton. And what is also pretty um interesting is if you look at the skull at the skull in general, the whole skull looks pretty flat to me in comparison to the human ones. The teeth of a um Tajay don't look anything like the ones of a human. 
As her charges have way more teeth, they have approximately 60 teeth in their mouth and we only have at 30 teeth. So if you then, in comparison, look at the teeth of a macaque, you can see or at the skull, the skull still is pretty flat, but the eye holes are way smaller um, and the teeth look way more flat than the ones of the Tarja look, but they still have like those two sharp predator like teeth, but only two or four of them. So if you then look at the skull of a human of us, you don't see any sharp teeth at all. Our skull looks way higher bill and not as flat as the ones of the other primates do and our whole and our whole bit looks way smaller not that not as extended as the ones of the other primates our teeth don't reach as wide forward as the ones of the other primates do so that's really interesting and if you then look at this chart that it much everyone in the high carb low fat vegan raw vegan whatever community uses is this one where it's the comparison of the carnivore with the omnivore with the herbivore with the, and with the frugivore and with the human and what this talk basically says is like that we're made to be frugivores but I don't agree with this because if you look at human evolution here if you look at this the humans started being there approximately like a little bit over two million years ago and we not the human as we know it today him today but like the homo erectus and whatever was there before the homo sapiens or homo sapiens sapiens that's what we are when the humans or the homo started running around on the earth it was approximately two million years ago this is what the what the human looked like not the humor what the homo looked like at first it were the apes like they looked like apes then they started walking upright then they started getting like less hair on their face and their body in general then they started to look like men but real a lot smaller then they basically had like the whole anatomy of a modern human but at least but then they just got like smaller arms in comparison to their legs the ratio between, the, between their extremities started to change a little bit <laughs> so if we look at when we were the homo sapiens sapiens because that wasn't just a hundred years ago or something like that it was approximately two hundred thousand years ago look at like at see he's this, this fat mummy and of the eyes if you call him and in his teeth there were starch granules were found and if you look at the timeline it perfectly fits into into this little chart here because in my opinion it shows that when we started eating more starches we actually or when we started eating more different than the normal primates did we started developing because something must have made us go from an ape to a human so I think it was the start. I think the form of a skull plays a huge role in this whole are we starchivores or frugivores. Because if you look at the skulls of the other frugivores or of the frugivores primates in general, you can see that they have a huge mouth. They really have a huge mouth. Their mouth makes it like over 50% of their whole head. But if you look at us, what you can also see in this um, herbivore, carnivore, frugivore kind of chart that we have a smaller mouth. So I think starch fits into this perfectly because if you have a smaller mouth, we were only able to chew smaller amounts of food, uh, but still were able to get the same amount of calories out of it. And as we all know, grains, for example, are pretty complex in calories. They have a lot of calories. They're pretty calorie dense. So I think this fits perfectly into into this whole our starch versus free rolls debate because I think our um teeth 
adapted to this to us starch eating and if we were starch was from the beginning which we definitely weren't we now have a starchivorous skull that's how it is i really don't think that we're frugivores i really don't think so when you feel like fruit then eat fruit i mean it's carbohydrate it's vegan go for it but i think that we evolved from eating first fruits and veggies of course but then what really made us to what we are today, it was the starch in my opinion. But, you know, this, I don't think this has necessarily something to do with, with what we should eat. I mean, of course it has something to do with it. Like, we should eat high carb, low fat, whole plant-based foods. But, I mean, if it's fruit or starch, I mean, who cares? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you. So, I really don't think, oh, I really don't know how you can think that human can are, you know, like carnivores. I mean, if you just look at this science, I mean, it's not really science. If you look at some pictures on the internet, I mean, you can easily find out that this is the most ridiculous statement or one of the most ridiculous statements ever made in human freaking history.